Hello, one more map tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force CD, Book 2, Chapter 3, cha Battle 20, with me, Blue Ankylo. Uh, hey guys, this has been a kind of a long live stream, so if I'm getting a bit silly, it's, that's all, but I'm having a good time. Shining Force, fun little game. Nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy to work with. Uh, anyway, we're uh, getting ready to go to the next battle. Look at all the cursed characters they have to add to their spam to sell chatbots on Twitch these days. Almost every single letter on that list is is from an alternate language. Uh, sorry, live tubers. As soon as I start recording, immediately we get some garbage in uh, in chat. All right, one less chatbot today. All right. That's the trouble with recording live. Every now and then something just pops in out of nowhere like that. Anyway, uh, how's it going? Yeah, we're just getting ready to go on uh, another battle. Uh, we bought some weapons last episode, so we got a couple upgrades like our archers. Uh, we do have a new character, which I think I mentioned. I could perhaps invite him to join us, but I don't think I want to because in book we used him in book one basically. So using him again seems kind of silly, but you know, there's Guyan. Uh, I'm fairly happy with Higgins so far, so keeping him around. Not sure about Rhodes. Not sure about Randolph. I mean, he's almost Gandalf, but not quite. So I'm happy with our party for the moment, and we'll just keep it like that. So let's go. Also, this is a special episode. More special mechanics. We must pass through this valley. <clears throat> right, right. We must pass through this valley to reach the shrine. Remember, Guyan knows a shortcut. If we were ambushed, it would be fatal. Uh, good thing someone drew up an entire map for a place where we probably won't get ambushed because we would die. Something, something, we gotta reach the shrine before they do. Hey, Cypress, what's the matter? Can't make up your mind. While you're standing there arguing, Prince is being sacrificed to Yom. Oh, you criminal, I'll break your neck. Ha, <laughs> listen up. We must lure Cyprus into the dungeon, even if it costs us our lives. Luckily, Cyan didn't bump anyone from the list. So it's a nice, uh, narrow map. Probably need to bring a flyer to get the chests. Good thing I've got a flyer. Uh, so two chests. Uh, something over here. Just some random statue with a glowing orb. Uh, we got a Demon Master. He's got Freeze 3 and a lot of HP. Got some more Cerberus, some more Minotaurs. Oh, look, an Evil Axe. Maybe we can steal that. I think that's the only thing we can steal this map, other than the chests. Oh, these guys are new too. So, Brass Gunner. I don't know if they'll get range 2 or 3, because they don't have a weapon. I think in book one they had range two, so they kind of sucked. Anyway, let's get to work. Graham will probably get killed by somebody if I run him up first. Oh yeah, there's lots of golems again. You know what I should do is give that agility ring to someone else. Him moving first has been really actually unhelpful. Alright, here we go. This is the person we want up front. Chester. The, the 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 tank snipe. Critical hit. Look at this guy. He's got a new weapon. Crushing it already. Alright, Natasha. I'll just move you up as far as you can go. Alright, bird boy. You can go clear one of these uh, gunners out a little. They do have a fair amount of defense. Sarah probably not doing much on turn one. Dawn should be able, maybe, to finish this guy off. 48. I think she can do enough damage. Ah, oh, critical hit is not even enough. Well, that's too bad. We would have needed a double attack. Oh, yeah. You think Minotaur can defeat the tank tankster? I don't know what we're calling him. Not even close. Yeah, three damage from uh, the guy that was the boss of the last chapter. You know. That's all he's got. Oh, 
Oh, you can climb up here? I didn't think you could climb up there. All right. Probably should have sent someone that way then. That would have been nice. <laughs> I didn't realize we could just walk up those. Uh oh, what's that? It's making funny laser noises. <laughs> okay, the brass gunner's got an amazing animation for his attack, but uh, it's not that bad. They're picking on my my paladins. My centaurs are getting nuked. <laughs> Poor centaurs. Okay, Cerberus charging down. Um, maybe I should send some... How many people do you think I need on the left side? Uh, there's only two enemies. I'll send Deanne over this way. Basically the nuke spell, yeah, pretty much. Even Natasha can tank a punch from a golem these days, not bad. Okay, gotta watch out for the reinforcements charging us. That guy picking on my mage. She's fine. <laughs> Four damage, yeah. <laughs> she uh, She's not the one that has the uh, black ring. She's the one that has all the defense. But technically, if we get a melee attack out of uh, May, she actually does quite a lot of damage with, uh, with the black ring equipped. Okay, we need some progress here. Let's see. I think I'm going to use Graham to shoot the gargoyle. It's going to be a little bit harder to hit than the other enemies. And he's a little bit, you know, he has no defense, so there's that. Okay, Natasha has got the fire magic. I don't think she can kill anything on her own. I'll put her on a defensive tile. We can probably get the gargoyle within death range, but she's not going to kill it. That's kind of sad. Well, unfortunately, turn order is what turn order is. Alright, and Chester, you can continue tanking up but I'm going to move you to the side. You know, if I just shoot up here, we don't even need, like, we won't need any reinforcements on the left side if we can just kill this guy with ranged. If Eric can finish him off, then I don't even need to send Deanna up there. Okay, but we do need to do some healing. Got to keep Natasha up. Don't worry about Chester, just keep Natasha alive. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, that guy's gonna die to dawn. So we're gonna just grab this chest with our flyer. The Valkyrie! Ooh, you wanna throw some spears around? That's what you want. Okay, I'm gonna move right up here. Finish off the gargoyle with a little bit of magic. Ninja time! Okay. We'll go with the Minotaur. We might get a double attack. The ninja seems to get a lot of double attacks. Not today, though. Ah, uh, two shots on Dawn in a row. Dawn should have got a turn. If uh, Dawn dies, uh, it's just bad turn order. <laughs> I gotta get someone to block the uh, golem or the minotaur or something. Okay. Deanna, you can kill this guy off because Deanna is already level 5. It's actually uh, Eric that needs more experience. I could run her back, but she'll be fine. She's fine. Look at this. Brass gunner dead. 49 experience, no level up. Oh, it's yellow. No, Dawn! This is bad, this is bad! 
Exactly. Exactly enough. I could have had a runaway, but... I didn't... You know, I figured someone would get a turn. What are all my guys doing just standing around watching? See, if Jaha had had a turn, he would have moved up and we would have been fine. That's all I needed, was just one more person. <sighs> Dawn just always dying. It's because Robert likes her, you know. Bitch, if he didn't like her so much, she'd survive. That dwarf never dies. Level 3 Eric. HP 2, attack 1, defense 2, quickness 1. Fair. Better do a little bit of healing, I guess. <clears throat> Can't have everyone dying on me. And we just finally had a chapter with no deaths, and here we are. You know, Ten minutes in and someone's dead. I mean, I tried to use Chester to, like, lure them all out, but... Honestly, a lot of that was bad turn order. Uh, May should not have been shot twice by the, uh, the brass gunner. That was just really bad luck there. Obviously, I could have ran her away, but I'm greedy. Level 6. HP 1, attack 2, defense 1, quickness 1. Okay. Graham finally got a level up that wasn't hot garbage. So I'm going to give the Valkyrie to Eric because he's my only surviving uh, paladin. <laughs> Easy. It's hard when you're a greedy Yankee, though. Level 7 Chester, HP plus 2, attack plus 2, defense plus 2. Yes! That's two good level ups in a row. And everyone's at, like, full health now, because the only person that was low health was, uh, killed. Eh, I guess just save your MP then. Is there any way for Natasha to do 20 damage? Eh, maybe. Ah, there's no way she's gonna do 20 damage to a Minotaur. Unless he's weak to ice and she had like a freeze three maybe, but he might be weak to ice. That was pretty good, but ice two or freeze two is not gonna do double that. Come on, May. Why can't you be as good as Natasha? He's going to be the new Domingo with massive defense. Another round with no one with any damage. Alright, the bird will go there. We'll send the rest of the team back. I should try to kill uh, the Cerberus before it can do his flame breath. Because, you know, tank does not defend against fire very well. 29 damage crit. Higgins. Level 9, HP 1, MP 1. Attack 2, defense 2, quickness 1. He has had very reliable level ups ever since we got him. He may have started out a little bit weak, but he's definitely growing up nice and strong. <laughs> Chester gets punched for one. Hmm, that orb is looking kind of red, by the way. I, uh, I'm gonna guess that we should maybe move out of the way a little. It's not really a guess, but, uh, just gonna say, uh, maybe you should stand a little bit off to the side. At least think about it. The Buster Shot. So you can't get, if you can't get attack up, just get a new weapon. The Buster Shot will probably be the strongest uh, ranged weapon we can get. Eh, 
Yeah, you can stay there. Well, we can't really get out of the way down here, can we? I believe in the power of hope. Hope and a prayer. Yeah, Domingo's just great till you run out of freeze fours. Don't worry, Jaha will be fine. Jaha and his no defense. Come on, Jaha, what was that? Level 4, HP 3, attack 2, defense 2. Alright, Jaha, getting good level ups. Uh, Eric needs some healing. Here goes. <laughs> well, at least most of my crew is out of the way, right? <laughs> I am B! <laughs> 15 damage. It's not as bad as I was thinking. It's about the same as the uh, laser eye. I think laser eye was like 12 to 15 or something. Oh, my XP! No! Well, were you really surprised? Every Shining Force game has to have some kind of laser defense. Try to make sure our healer survives first. Now I'm pretty sure you could just give the running ring to or your flyer, your bird, and he could just fly all the way up to uh, to win the map on his own. All right, Graham. Are you going to be better now that you're in the level? Like, his first five levels were trash, but maybe now that he's, uh, getting into the 6 to 10 range, he'll start getting a little better? Should I just do it? Nah, that's too greedy. Let's not do that. Here, have the buster shot. Alright, so who up here needs some heals? Not really. Yes. 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 Not really. And also, the Vicar. So this is a pretty good aura. Pretty efficient. I wish we had 18 HP heal on, uh, on promoted heals, but... They don't give me... All right, level 14, MP1, defense 2, quick 1, and blast level 3, for those familiar with the old names. It's charging its lasers again! Boy, that dice mini game is giving away a lot of points today. I hope people lose to that at least once in a while, so it's not always just generating free points. <laughs> if you're just watching the live, the, the future tubers watching the video, you won't be able to see all the chat games on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, a lot of times the uh, the scripts have like a default input value, and then they have a range above that that you can bet. I'm pretty sure the default is generally just the minimum roll. Well, let's position Chester here. Try to burn down the Cerberus first. I forgot to equip the Buster Shot. That's the old pellet version. Explode and pellet. You know, Claude, you can kill stuff, right? Nice. 28 damage, pretty good. Level 11 bird, H attack 1, defense 1, no HP. So once you're past the first 10 levels, your 
promotion, your, your level up gains start sucking. So generally level 1 to 10 are where you get the majority of your big gains. Although it does depend on your... Each character has some kind of growth curve. Um, actually, it was in the manual for Shining Force 2, I think. Um, it was even in their menu screen, even, I think, actually. It was very hard to decipher and figure out what that meant exactly, but uh, there is kind of a mechanic with early growers, late growers, balanced growers, you know, stuff like that. think you win in dice more. I'll have to look at the odds, make sure we're not uh, just giving it all away for free. I have to do some more Anki math for my secret formula. Alright, HP 1, MP 1, attack 1, defense 1, quick 1. Kind of boring. And also regenerates, so that's fun. Just lucky day, that's two. There's always that uh, confirmation bias when you see a lot of wins, you forget about the fails. That's how gambling works. <laughs> no one remembers all the money they lost just to get that giant win. My grandparents were like that as they got older. They'd go gambling for the weekend and be like, oh, we won a thousand dollars. HP one, attack one, defense one, quickness one. Kind of a blah level there, but. And they'd be like, yeah, I won a thousand bucks. And we'd all be, you know, my dad and I'd be like, yeah, cool. Uh, how much money did you spend to, to win that thousand? And, you know, you know 5,000 or something crazy, right? Because you know, they were old retirees playing around with pension money. So in the end, they didn't actually bring home any extra money. They, they did lose money overall. They just, uh, you know, they had that one moment of big win after a weekend of Mom. But, you know, it's their money. They can do what they want. It's no big deal. It just always kind of struck me as odd that people focus so much on the, uh, the one win after so many big losses. So many small losses and then one big win. Okay, this thing's gonna shoot pretty soon. I think I better kill the Belial before it can zap anybody. Because it's got bolt, and I don't want it to be bolted and lasered. So get rid of that guy. I keep forgetting to switch over my uh, my range weapon. Level 8, HP 2, attack 2, defense 2, quickness 1. Oh. Whew. But you do need better than 50% of a roll on the dice game as well. It goes between 3 and 18. And I'm pretty sure the average roll 3d6s is 7.5? No, t nine, mm, 10 and a half or 10 and a third or something. You have to do some... Uh, whatever it is. 3 to 18 is 21. 21 divided by 3, whatever that is. I can't do math this late. But you would need to do, you need to roll more than the, the midpoint, basically. And by a fair margin, I think. Or maybe it's just, I don't know, roll 11 or 12. I forget. I'll look it up later. There's some number. All right, Minotaur drops the evil axe. Jaha could use it. The statue has MP. That's interesting, isn't it? It's got a lot of MP. Yeah, take that. Throw some rocks at this guy. I think I'll go to this side. Oh, that's right, Valkyrie. Speaking of things to equip, the Valkyrie is way better than the Chrome Lance. This is gonna be some big damage. Dice mini game should max at 100, I think. Or it's supposed to. All right, forgot about the demon master, but that's okay. Eh, 17 damage. We can take a couple of those. Okay, lasers about to fire. 
The idea is the dice mini game is your low, your low bet. It's a ten to one hundred, and then the gambling mini game is a hundred to a thousand. It's kind of your your expensive table. Well, we're gonna get hit by some lasers this time. No time to get out of the way. Unless we could kill the laser before it fires. Maybe I should try for that. Yeah, we're gonna try to kill it. Three more damage. Let's see how the buster shot looks. Big money, no whammy. Same as the last one. Just a little bit more damage. Yeah, this should be a five minute cooldown as well. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by Freeze 3 by staying there, but that's fine. It's probably better to kill the statue if we can than uh, worry about a little bit of ice damage. Not quite far enough. Is there anyone that needs to get healed? If we're gonna stand in front of the laser, basically. I think we've actually done pretty well this map, not taking too much damage. Yeah, it looks like everyone's pretty healthy. Okay. Oh, Higgins! Yes, this is your chime! Throw the rock at the glass orb! Extra weak against rocks! Thousand bucks, no more lasers. Good job. Yeah, the enemy's healing. Unless you're in a really bad spot, it's generally nice. It costs you another turn of combat, but uh, usually I'm happy with it. Sometimes I'm like, stop wasting your MP on heal level 4. Heal level 1 is good enough. Stop wasting it. <laughs> we could get more XP milked out of you if you use the, the cheap heal. If you ever have to do a run, like a challenge run with no egressing or replaying maps with like... What is this? Graham? Why are you so... We're gonna change his name to Butts, because he's actually Butts. He, he got a double attack, but then he, mi he missed twice in a row, like... That's how a real archer arches. Chester is twice the man you'll ever be. 22 defense, 46 defense. Okay, Claude, I would prefer not to die. Let's get out of the way. Uh, how much damage do we need here? No, no, no. Nah, not gonna, not gonna get that much. Let's throw down a fancy blaze because we got lots of MP to spend at the end of this map. Boom, 14 damage, nothing special, but. Hey, level four, HP two, MP one, attack one, quickness one, no defense. And then Sarah can just heal up back here, I guess. <laughs> 69, 69, 0 ankylopulse. <laughs> yeah, that's a double nice. Good job, team. Alright, level 4 Eric, HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, not a very good level. If only the female centaur was around to see it, she'd be so impressed. Level 10 Ninja, HP 2, MP 1, attack 2, defense 2, quickness 1, another solid level. Yeah, the plus two attack for level up on the ninja is looking really good. How is his damage looking? 59 attack? That's nearly our top attack power. Uh, 
Deanna with probably some power wines, is maybe, is a bit higher. Buster Shot, you know, special weapons a bit higher. Valkyrie, one of the best spears in the game, or the best spear in the game, a little bit higher, but... Yeah, he's, he's doing good. You do not deserve this kill, Graham. You're not getting this kill. You don't deserve it. Take your XP and go. Could, uh... uh Natasha's not gonna do... She's got no single target damage. Nothing. You know who does deserve this kill? His name is Chester. And he's gonna... Boom. Headshot. And then again. Ah, come on, Chester. I'd love to get made some growth. Come on, team. Where's all the levels? Well, Higgins, you're not going to get the kill. You're just going to hold off for next one. Someone else is going to get the kill. Yeah, like Eric. Once you're level 10, we've got to slow down the experience a little. You're getting too many kills at that point. Let, let the let the low-level guys get a couple of kills here. I can't believe we failed. We'll still succeed if the resurrection is successful. They still have their self-destruct button, I see. What did he say? Something about a resurrection? Whatever, I don't care about that. Let's go. Great storytelling. Clearly, if the main characters don't care about it, we can just uh, forget about it. So, uh... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't tell Robert, but we have to re-zombify his girlfriend. That's the uh, third or fourth time, or maybe fifth time, or something like that, where we've had to reanimate the dead for him. But, uh, you know, she's uh, holding together. Uh, where is she here? Uh, Dawn, level three. She's only one level behind. Exactly 100 experience behind Eric. Um, the Valkyrie is just so much stronger than the Power Spear, but usually what I do is split up the Halberd and the Valkyrie because the Halberd is like the strongest uh, range 1 weapon for a knight, and then the Valkyrie is the strongest range 2. So at least we have two different um, Paladins with the ultimate weapons rather than having one with both. So yeah, those guys, they're doing fine. I mean, I know Dawn's died a few times. It's not because her defense is low, it's just she's getting bad luck on turns. Her defense is very average, in fact. Um, Graham is not good. I have to say, Graham is about the weakest unit on this force right now. Uh, I could definitely switch him with someone else if I thought I found someone better. He's probably my weakest pick, and I don't know if he's better... I think Luke would be worse, but... Chester's doing fine. 46 defense. I'm really surprised, actually, at just how tanky he's become. That's crazy. Uh, May... The mages are not very good either. We can't not bring Natasha, but we could ditch May. <sighs> She's never going to learn Freeze 4, by the way. We looked it up, future tubers. So, no Freeze 4 ever. Sarah's real good. It might be better to bring Randolph instead of... Uh, What's his name? Graham. Graham's kind of bad. Randolph might be better. Road might be better than May. But, you know, I like having mages. I just feel really bad because she kind of sucks. Uh, and Guyan, I wouldn't trust him. Anyway, that's all for this one, future tubers. Uh, we should probably save it every now and then. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we're almost there. There's only 25 or 26 battles, so getting close. This is the final chapter. There's only a few battles left, and that's the end of book two. Now, there might be a book three after that, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.